All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, this week in history, Rome, 222 AD. The Senate and the Praetorian Guard have had enough of a petulant flamboyant 18 year old and stab the Emperor Heliogabalus to death. Uh. Unlike his predecessor Julius Caesar, killed uh. almost to the day 266 years prior, Heliogabalus was everything that that wise, experienced, calculating politician wasn't. Heliogabalus was a smart mouthed priest from the East, brought in by his grandmother, Julia Mesa, as a political puppet. But she hadn't counted on his antics. Heliogabalus forced senators to watch him put on makeup and dance and cavort for his Phoenician sun god, which was a rock with the sun on it, who he named himself after. This god was declared better than Jupiter, and everyone was forced to pray to it. He would eventually drag a goddess's statue into the temple, and he held a wedding for them. Everyone was again forced to attend. Heliogabalus himself married two men and five women over his five-year tenure, including a Vestal Virgin. Ugh. After violating every political, religious, and sexual taboo of Rome, it's amazing Heliogabalus wasn't stabbed sooner. But then again, it's important to think about who's writing history. We have multiple eyewitness accounts of Heliogabalus' rule. They're all from old, traditional Roman senators, for whom some young Syrian kid who breaks social norms is far more evil than slavery or murder. They're also writing after Heliogabalus' rule, under a new emperor who stands to gain from vilifying his predecessors. In the end, some of Heliogabalus' rule was only evil by the standards of the time, like allowing women in the Senate or dancing in public. So when the noble Cassius Dio writes that Heliogabalus put on a wig and sold his body as a prostitute at his imperial brothel, ask yourself, what does Dio have to gain from telling us this? This week on Real Housewives of the Tiber River, Emperor Heliogabalus and his boy toy Heracles, the husky, husky chariot driver, have been out on the town when Zotocles, the big bad gladiator, steps in and tries to woo Heliogabalus. Well, Heracles isn't having any of that. And Heracles sets a trap and poisons Zotocles so that he can have the emperor all to himself. Is that too much? For more great history videos and content, visit our website at historynet.com, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and learn some history, or be doomed to repeat it.